In 256 BC, the First Punic War between Rome and Carthage, today known as Tunisia, had been raging for several years. The war was fought primarily on the island of Sicily and its surrounding waters, and was a bloody and bitter conflict with tremendous losses on both sides. After defeating the Carthaginian fleet in the Battle of Cape Echnemus, the Roman statesman and general, Marcus Atilius Regulus, took an invasion force to North Africa in an attempt to quash the Carthaginians on their own soil. However, it was during an attempt to cross the Bagratus River en route to Carthage that Regulus and his invasion force encountered a gigantic serpent unlike anything they had ever dreamed of. The creature rose up from the reeds to a great height and glared at them malevolently, stopping them dead in their tracks. Perturbed by the sight of this menacing creature, Regulus made the decision to take his forces further down the river in an attempt to cross unhindered by this tremendous beast. However, upon choosing an alternate location to cross, the snake suddenly emerged from the water and snatched one of his soldiers from the riverbank, crushing him in its powerful jaws. This happened several more times before Regulus became enraged at his inability to make progress and ordered that the ballistae be brought forward to bombard the creature. They launched salvo after salvo of rocks at the snake until it finally succumbed to the onslaught and died on the riverbank. Some accounts describe the creature as having scales the size of shields, which made it impervious to javelins and arrows, and a poisonous breath that drove soldiers mad on inhaling it. Afterwards, the soldiers skinned the colossal creature, which was said to measure 120 feet in length. The skin and the leviathan's massive skull were taken back to Rome as trophies. It's said that these relics remained on display in the capital until 133 BC, after which they mysteriously disappeared, never to be reported again. In his 1953 book, Exploration Fawcett, the celebrated explorer Lieutenant Colonel Percy Fawcett wrote of an encounter with a gigantic anaconda while leading an expedition in Brazil's Acre State in 1907. Fawcett shot and killed the creature from his boat as it emerged from the Guapore River and onto the bank. He claimed that as accurately as it was possible to measure the beast, the total length came to 62 feet long. Fawcett disappeared in 1925. His fate remains a mystery to this day. Colonel Remy van Leerde was an ace fighter pilot in the Belgian Army and the British Royal Air Force during World War II. Van Leerde shot down numerous enemy aircraft during the conflict and achieved the RAF rank of squadron leader. In 1958, he became one of the first Belgians to break the sound barrier while test flying a Hawker Harrier at Dunsfold Aerodrome in England. But it was a year later in 1959 that Van Leerde encountered a giant snake while returning from a helicopter mission in the Katanga region of the Belgian Congo. A passenger on board had a camera, so Van Leerde made several passes over the creature to allow him to take a picture of the huge beast. As a highly experienced pilot, Van Leerde was accustomed to measuring topographic features from altitude. He estimated the snake to be close to 50 feet in length. When he flew lower for closer inspection, the snake rose up approximately 10 feet, giving the impression it would have attacked the helicopter had it been within striking range. Van Leerde stated, quote, It could have easily eaten up a man. 